I'm Laurel Lee and I'm going to tell you about Outright, which is perfect for you to consider. If you're a simple business, you don't have payroll, but you want to organize your income and expenses and you want to be prepared for taxes easily. So in this webinar, we're going to talk specifically about how your Schedule C can be completely organized for you. Now I'm assuming you've seen the first webinar, part one, getting started with Outright, which showed you how easy that was and how to get your income and expenses organized. This will talk about the tax worksheets and reports. So I'm just going to click on the taxes overview. And what I'm going to go through is the annual taxes, quarterly taxes, uh, sometimes known as estimated taxes, and I'll touch on sales tax. So we're going to start with the annual taxes. And let me just give you the brief overview of this. If you've been keeping up uh, throughout the year, you've linked the accounts that have your financial transactions in them, and you've been categorizing along the way, which we discussed in part one, your taxes are done. And I mean really done. So in this sample account, not all of my numbers have been categorized. So in this case, I've got 245 uncategorized transactions. But if you've been categorizing along the way, you will not have this. All of these numbers will be accurate. I'm going to show you the most exciting page in Outright, the Schedule C worksheet. Now, I know you never would have told your friends that the most exciting page of Outright was the Schedule C worksheet, but it really is because these are tax lines that correspond to your Schedule C, and they're up to date with your income, with your returns, with your advertising expenses, and so on. Now, what most people do is they go and they transcribe this into TurboTax or whatever tax software they use, or they go to their accountant and they work together to make sure that everything in here is accurate and as the accountant expects. Um, and if you haven't been keeping up or you want to double check, it's super easy from here to edit any of this. So by that, I mean you might want to add transactions that are missing or change transactions that have been miscategorized. That's all very simple and outright, which again, we, we talked about in part one. So you can see how, when I say simple, I mean simple when we're talking about doing your taxes because it's really done for you. So your tax worksheet is done and up to date and you're wondering if your deduc deductions are, are too much, too little compared to your industry. Uh, Outright has a tax guide that's worth checking out. Compare your business deductions. Now, where these numbers come from is that they're the latest numbers from the IRS. So I'm just going to pull up uh, retail. And what you'll get here is, is average number or average deduction amounts for businesses in the U.S. So you can check out and say, whoa, mine is way too low. Maybe I'm missing some deductions. And you could look at closer at your expense transactions to see if anything belongs there. And a lot of people ask us about what to do with the 1099-K. And the answer is actually really simple. Uh, the 1099-K comes to small businesses who've earned over $20,000 and They've done that in over 200 transactions, and they've done that from a merchant provider or PayPal or Etsy Direct or Amazon. And if they've earned that amount, if you've earned that amount, you'll receive a 1099-K. And all that is is it's a form that you essentially got a copy of a form that they sent to the IRS saying, this is Mary Jones, and this is her business, and she earned over uh, $20,000 in 200 transactions. That means the IRS knows what you've earned. All that does for you, you don't have to do anything with the form. It just means that when you fill out your taxes, you need to make sure that, remember that Schedule C total sales, that that number is at least as much as what PayPal told the IRS it was. So I'm going to go back to the taxes section. And I'll pick up on estimated taxes. So Outright is nice because not only does it track how much you owe in your estimated taxes, but it reminds you. It reminds you from the Outright dashboard and also via an uh, email on a quarterly basis that says it's time to pay. And the way this works and the way estimated taxes do work 
is it's cumulative. If you don't pay in quarter two, then it's going to add up what you owe, and it'll char it'll suggest that that's what you pay for quarter three and quarter four and so on. And you can see in the sample data, I have some funny payments here. But essentially, cumulatively speaking, I owe this much for the fourth the fourth quarter in estimated taxes for 2012. And then you can simply record a payment from here and you'll be writing a check to the IRS to do that. So there's a couple of ways to make this happen easily for you. The easiest way is to get started using Outright as quickly as possible. Link those accounts, get categorizing, get Outright to know how to categorize for you, and then keep it up to date using the free mobile app as well as the web app to keep track of your income and expenses by categorizing the few new vendors that you might have on a weekly basis. It is the case that you can pull this in on April 14th, import your data, categorize whatever is uncategorized, and get your taxes done as well. Well, I hope that makes sense and that having watched part one, the first video that, or the webinar that showed you how to get started, how to get your income and expenses in, and the second webinar was intended to show you how your taxes will be prepared pretty much automatically once you get those linked accounts in. I hope that was helpful. I hope you'll join the over 250,000 users of Outright today. And if you ever have any questions, we have free support, very friendly reps who sit right next to me that you can email, ask them questions, and they'll get right back to you. So, hope that was good. Thanks.